Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I have been reading your comments, well, not Wednesday's comments yet, because um, I record these in batches. And I thank everyone for posting comments and adding to the conversation, and telling me what type of a moron I am. Uh, I have some problems with my storage container, but that's okay. Uh, problems like, how'd you get to the core? I said, well, you walk through the back. Then it dawned on me, you put cargo stuff in the back. I was meaning to leave an aisle way. And I didn't connect up the, the, um, hmm, there's an empty block here. And I didn't connect up the storage unit with the, with the rail. But I've decided I'm not going to worry with that until I have, uh, this done. Because my idea is for the system here to actually pull from the containers to a, a central cargo hold. So I'm going to worry about that once I'm ready to, to test an interface with this. And at the same time, I'll redesign my, uh, my interface here. Server under heavy load. No, it's not. Um, I'm going to redesign this so it'll uh, interface with my system here better. So this is... Think of this as a placeholder that we're going to fix later. Anyway, now we are going to play Star Mate. Okay. Uh, where were we? Alright, I hit this button. Actually, I was supposed to hit the flip flop. And it goes from the input and goes this way. And keeps going this way. Okay. This here is going to be a junction. I'm going to have a... Oh, again, that's not a red light, that's a red rod, okay. And a green light. We're going to clear those, and we're going to put a flip-flop and a knot. Flip-flop and a knot. Uh, if that's active, then... I'll hook these up to lights here in a minute once I get the logic done. The idea is, I want, I'm going to use these lights primarily for my own visual, and uh, the idea is, I'm going to have an arm of rail here, and if there are too many, or if there are the right number of containers on this arm, this will turn red, and, and I will send it down instead of, alright, right now it comes out and it goes down. I'm going to do a check and see if there's any empty space in this arm. And I'm going to turn this green light on and change this rail to one of these so it'll allow a container in. Then it'll say, oh, this is full, if it's full. It'll turn my red light on and go down. That's the idea. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work this out, but let's see. That's nine. That's another nine. This is what, two, because that's nine wide. I had it set to 9, so that's 2, 3, 4, except I want spaces in between them. So we're going to add 5 spaces. Alright, I'm going to help me mark this out visually. My first cargo container is going to be there. That's the center. Uh, I'm going to stick that there. I want a space base, my next cargo container there, with a center, space, skip, skip, center, skip, skip, space, that is, that can't be right. Of course it can't be right, because I had set to five. Wow. And well, that's awful small. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. I want a space. Uh, a space. Actually, I could just space them out like that. I don't need the white block. Okay. That'll give me one, one two, three, four. And I do want a, a hazard block there. Four on one side, four on one side. That makes nine. Okay, so there we go. Those are my spaces. And then this last one, I want to uh, 
come on. Spin, spin, there we go. I want it to set it to go down. Or out and down. So when I hit a button, it'll uh, tilt to, to release this one and move it down. And it'll go that way. Okay, so now how do I want to do this? And for right now, we are not just going to leave it going down. We're actually going to recycle it to the system till I work out exactly how I want to do this. Uh, that's, I want, yeah. And I don't need these. Okay. So now, let me show you what I'm doing. I put the input, and this goes. And today, probably today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be working on this logic, except I want that block to instead go that way. I want to leave you on so you're you are uh, accelerating. Okay, how did I do that? That was a rail speed control, an activation block module, and a for you. All right, I don't remember having a gray hole there. Okay, and instead of undocking and redocking and undocking and redocking, I've set up this loop. So if I test it, no, that's wrong. I just let it go through for another pass. Okay. This time we are going to undo the flip-flop, so that'll make the speed of that rail zero. And... Ta-da! Ah, very good. So something's there that'll trigger that button. Okay, now I do want to set up my speed control thing, so I need a rail, rail speed controller. Um, let's just set this off a little, because it's probably going to be... How do I do that? A activation and a flip-flop. Okay. Activation module. Uh, that's the one with the hand and a flip-flop. Da 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 B and I also want a red and green light. Red light green light. And if it is active, it is I mean something is going through it, and if it's not, something is not. That probably needs a knot. Da, 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 da. Not. There. And that's still connected to that as well, so we don't want that. There we go. Wow, if you can't get a simple light circuit ready. What else can he do? Okay. And if I attach that to the flip-flop. This one's going to be the easy one, because it's not going to check for the one before it. Okay. I wonder if I should put rail speed on all these. Nah. Alright, it's going to come... Is it going to be fast enough? Oh, it is. Okay. And if I want to release it, I hit the button. Uh huh. And that also needs to be attached to. Hmm. No. Oh, oh, oh I see. I see. I see. If I put a button beside it and hook it to that, that means. Uh, I trigger this one, it flips the flip-flop. If I hit this one again, this moves, it triggers this one, this one triggers this one, it hits the flip-flop and resets the circuit. Alright, are you on? No, you're not on.
Okay, come on. Hurry up, little little uh, cargo pod. And I'll probably need to re remove remove these lights and whatnot because I'd also like an an access ramp thing. I think. Hold on, we'll figure all this out in a minute. I do want to move all this down. I think. Uh, okay, and that's what a. Take out that and that, but we're going to test the circuit before we start moving anything. Green means it's empty. Comes up. It activates. Alright, we are going to actually have to move this button. Down! There we go. Give it a little more room. And while we do that, we can rebuild the circuit on a lower plane. So I can turn that into a floor. And rail speed controller. See how does that work? That one goes to that and the red light, and I need a red light. My green light. Not a green pole. Light rod. There we go. Activate those. Are you still? Yes, you're still on. Okay. Alright, and that connects to you, and you connect to the... No, 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 you don't connect all that stuff. Stop it. Uh, I had you selected when I was putting down blocks. Okay, that was bad. Button and red. Button and red. Uh, you connect to that one and that one. Server's under heavy load. Actually, you're going to connect to nothing right now because I don't want the first circuit to interfere with the second. Now let's see if I'm moving this button over. Okay. Now I hit that button. Shouldn't that be? All right, but I do. Those are red. And you are connected to you. Oh, that was my reason. <laughs> and it did swap, even though I had it wrong. It swapped it, so that, that setup works. All right. And you need to be off while I fix this. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. That's a knot that's connected to the... Okay, just get rid of all that. You're connected to you. You are connected to a knot, which is connected to the green light. And you are tied to you and you. Okay. And this button to that. Allow the, the thing to cycle through. Uh, this should be... Should be green, allowing... Or saying that something's here, which means... Or saying that nothing's here, which means this would... Would uh, stop if a rail hits it. Okay, we're gonna let it hit. See if this circuit works. Then call it a day, and tomorrow we will... Well, it's going to be actually a couple minutes for me. But to, for tomorrow, we will um, uh, do the next one. It's going to be a little trickier, I think. Okay. It hits and keeps going. Why does it keep going? Uh, did I have it set up wrong? Alright, hold on. We're going to go into overtime.
but I don't think that was set up right. There it goes. And that should be full, full power. That should be stopped. Did I have it set up like that? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, actually, let's see. Hit X. Give me a little, little one of these and rail docker. I don't want just one of these running around. I complicate everything. Oh, it's almost here anyway. Okay. I was going to try to save some time, but I didn't. I have a nice steady cam. <laughs> and triggers. And keeps going. All right. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong. I will see you all later. What was that?